Join me as I travel solo through India, a land of endless diversity and sensory experiences, where each destination offers its own unique adventure. Today, we find ourselves in Delhi. Let's discover what wonders this quarter of India holds for us. Hello, and welcome to Delhi, Praha Gunj, Delhi in particular, in India obviously, it's been raining, so I've been hiding from that, I think everybody else has as well, because now everybody's out, around, spatial awareness, one thing they don't, I've noticed, don't have spatial awareness, Yo, how are you? Good man. Hi. Oh, hello. Hi. Oh gosh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Done, you bud. Hello. Uh, yes. Everybody's out. <laughs> um, but I'm just going for food. It's dinner time. Let's have some dinner. I don't know. In particular, what I'm after. But I think I want to sit down, food somewhere, but I think on ground level this time. Take in the people. <laughs> but yeah, let's 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 try and find a place. So this is obviously Praha Ganj. Uh, it's very much like uh, this is like the main bazaar. So there's a lot going on everywhere, as you can probably hear and see and smell well I don't think you can quite smell it but maybe it doesn't smell too bad actually to be honest I've noticed it is mostly clothes pharmacies and like you know like touristy stuff but it's a lot of um, yeah as well as tourists there's a lot of Indians here as well so yeah Thinking curry. Although we're coming towards the end already. Hmm. Maybe I've gone the wrong way. Maybe. Brother tattoo. I need to go up. No, no, I'm good, man. Hmm. I had contemplated doing the, uh, doing some shopping, but I think we'll just stick to food. No, thank you. Stick to food. Uh, I do need some sunglasses because I've broken mine. But I think buying sunglasses when it's night time is probably not the best idea. That's a place. Okay, I'll go here. Let's see. Hello, I can sit down. Food? It's okay? Yeah? No? Yeah, biryani? Ah. Okay, one uh, one plate. One twenty. Huh? That's okay. 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 You look very confused. I've noticed a lot of people look very confused when I talk to them. I'm not sure if it. They just yeah. They don't seem to uh, maybe they don't understand. But I think it's more that they just. I might serve that side. I know there's a single table there. I think actually what it is is that it just used to people knowing what they want. <laughs> I haven't had a biryani for a while. Wow, what is this? It looks like a chili. But yeah, I haven't had a biryani for a while, so sure. Why not? I've noticed there's two different types. I don't know which one he's given me. Yeah, I can never tell. If, it's, if they can't understand me, or they're sometimes it feels like they're annoyed that I'm filming. Okay, then you bet. Oh well. Okay. Yeah, good. Okay. Wow, looks good though. 
I probably would have gone with a, ooh, a different sort of carry because I didn't realize they had carries here as well. But this is literally the only place that I could find on, on brown labels. So, what is a biryani you say? Dun, 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 dun. Biryani is like cooked in these big pots over there. Uh, and it's a rice, rice based as you can see. Um, kind of has lots of spices, all different colors. Uh, this is very like orangey yellow. Quite often has like, sorry, that green stuff is white. Quite spicy, didn't realize. <laughs> but it is mostly, mostly rice. With like a couple of bits of chicken, depending on you can get it with mutton or you can get it with veg as well. I've had a veg one. Yeah, obviously you've got the rice. And we'll cook slowly in these pots. Maybe I'll show you um, after. I should have actually watched and put it down. Hmm. But it's really... Like it's really, it's cooked really well. Like the rice is, it's all separated. And it's very, um, breaks down really fast. And it kind of has these, I mean it all tastes like curry. And see there's a bit of chicken there. And that's like tandoor, tandoori chicken, basically. And it all gets cooked in these massive pots. Okay, that's salt, I'm not sure yet. Yeah, I can't quite tell if they're like, because I've got some annoyed looks from filming. But I've also had some, hey, what are you? Okay, so that, that's one of the flavors that's in there. Tastes a bit like, it's like a licorice bark, I think. It's probably one of the main flavors. I can see there is a cardamom. What else we got? I'm not sure, but he like garnishes it with a bit of onion. I've seen, I mean, he's given me a spoon, but I have seen in Chennai, for example. I mean, I'm sure they probably do it here as well. You just eat it with your hand. Which I will do for the chicken. Let's try one of the bits of chicken, shall we? Mmm. Yeah. Wow. That's good. Very tender. It's a little bit dry because it is tandoori. This tandoor is kind of like a kind of a roast thing. Oh, you got the bone. Mm. Oh, yeah, it's a bit on there. Yeah, it's amazing the colors that they can get. I don't know if you can see. It's like orange, yellow. It looks like, a bit like sunshine. <laughs> How is that? And he gave me this green sauce. Um, I think it's like a chili yogurt. Hmm. Quite spicy. And then there's a red one. Which I don't know. Is that even more spicy? Ooh. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, it's a different type though. It's like more of a biting chili. It's quite watery actually. Okay. There's another bit of that bark stuff. I'm pretty sure it's licorice. Although that tastes more like. What does that taste like? Cinnamon. Mm. So yeah, it's got all these flavors, you know. Oh, there's a clove. Or a clove. And it is quite simple, but it is just rice and just vegetable. The chicken is just, I think, kind of cooked in the rice. So it kind of, the rice acts as like a, as like a, um, like a cover for for the chicken, and in a way, I guess the rice is kind of 
Cooked very similar to, let's say, a risotto. I think. Ah, I can also see, I think these are kind of weight seats. You kind of think like, you know, just rice by itself. Well, it's not by itself, but when a fish is predominantly rice, it's actually quite boring, but this has loads of flavor in it. Mm. <coughs> like I think when you get very onion like you say New Zealand or UK, like quite often it's got a bit more to it, like it is kind of a bit more like a pilau. Oh yeah, well, it's good. I think he said this was 150, but I don't know. There's a very onion up on there. There's chicken Hyderabadi biryani or chicken Murad Badi biryani. I'm gonna guess and say this is the Hyderabadi. But I might be wrong. What do you think? Because the one that they've got is obviously the other one. There's a lighter color. So I'm guessing it was different to Hyderabad. There's a place called Hyderabad. So what I'm guessing is there might also be a place called Murad. Muradabad. So I guess it's kind of like a regional, you know, one fish for one other day. Each place does it slightly different. I'm actually quite like these a little bit too. Bark. You can eat these one. I think it was a cinnamon piece. Also these little round black things. I'm not sure what that is. I think it's just typical actually. Ah, so the spicy and normal. Ah, I think I got the spicy one. Okay. I'm gonna go wash my hands, guys. Talk amongst yourselves. Okay, let's go find out how much it costs. <coughs> wow. Oh yeah, see, so these are the these are the big pots here. Hey yeah. Uh it's the pen. 120. Huh? 120. 120, okay. Done your bed. Okay. Done your bed. Huh. I'm okay man. I'm okay, thank you. So yeah, they come in these these big pots here, and actually underneath there is like the um, the flame. Hmm? I'm okay, my friend. I'm okay. Thank you. So, so it's night time. Do you have any the um, uh, polarized? Do you have polarized? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. But do you have polarized ones? You know polarized? They they will say DNA. Those are polarized. And it's hard to say with the. Okay. Dark, you know. Okay, 150. No, no, I, I don't need, need any right now. Just too much. No, no, no. Not right now. That's fine. They look nice. That's okay. Tanya bud. Tanya bud. Nisha here. Okay. See you. Can I just do this? Sir, I push. Ooh. Sir. <laughs> Brother. Tanya bud. Yes. I have these already, and the real ones as well. But thank you. Hello. How are you? How are you? Yeah, good. Okay. Yeah, good. <laughs> okay. Ah, here's some sweets. I might have some of it. Yes. <laughs> Hello, my friend. Namaskar. I have some banana. 
Hello, maybe five? Five? Uh. Six, six, <laughs> yeah. How much is that though? Five kidna? Oh, five. Yeah. Hello, thirty to thirty. Ah, uh, say again? Thirty. Thirty for six, okay. That's good. That's a good price. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, done your bad. Now I think I want. Mm. Wow, last is really cheap. I think I want a Ravi. Hello, my friend. Hello. How are you doing? Ketio? Ah, good. Maria. Maria. Tiga. Yeah, good. Tiga. Tiga. Ah. <laughs> Can I have a Malay Ravi? Malay Ravi. Ah. Um, I could eat in here, yeah. Yeah, I'll eat in here, okay? Yeah. Okay. And this is a this is a warm lassi, the lassi here, this one. It is a hot milk. Hot? What is it? Hot milk. And oh, hot milk. Ah, cold. Okay. Maybe I'll have one of them as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, one. Okay. Do you need any sugar? Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, sugar, okay. Oop, everyone's coming in now. Make room, make room. Okay, so first of all, we've got the Malai Rabi. I think that is 40 rupees for 100 grand. I don't know what it is. Um, but it's sweet. I think it's kind of like the curd. It's on top. And he's also giving me like a hot milk, which I've never had before. Good. See ya. Gotcha. Me? My country? New Zealand. New Zealand. Ah. And you? You India? I'm Delhi. Delhi, yeah. Hmm? Wow, so I've never had one of these before. Okay, just warm milk. It does like have a, has like a skin on top. You can see in there like, scooping up the skin and that actually goes on top. And yeah, I think this is the same, so it's like, there's curds, curds in my head. I think this is like a curd. Maybe. So then mixed with something, and it actually tastes a bit, um, kind of smooth. The table's getting very full. Maybe I'll, um... Oh, okay. <laughs> That's very hot. <laughs> it's in a metal cup as well. I don't know how he brings his stuff out. Boiling. And yeah, this is the... The other thing. Maya Rabi. Maya Rabi. Maya Rabi. I have to look it up. I've had it a lot. It's quite nice to kind of... Yeah, because in Rishikesh it's kind of... At least where I was standing, they don't really have the street food like this. Like they're more like authentic little, little places. So you can see here, I think this is last. Yeah, and they cook it up, and it's like so, you can see this fire going on here. Then and that's cool, so then you get the warm, the hot milk. It's really good. It's very strange consistency, this one, because it's kind of, you know, like warm milk. Obviously, hey. But then on top, 
It's like the Kurds, which are, you have to kind of fight through to get the milk. And you can actually taste that it's, um, like restoring you, in a way, nourishing you, nutrition. These guys are right. We'll see what it is. Full fat milk, sugar, cardamom, and nuts. It's served as a dessert along with uh, chamor, which is like the balls, sweet uh, dough balls. <laughs> Rabi tastes very delicious, creamy, and is full of flavors from the cardamom and saffron. Although mine, sometimes it's quite yellow. So the tick only comes from milk. Milk pudding. Juice milk with malai, which is a cream. Okay, so malai is cream. Oh, I'm getting down to the sugar down the bottom here. <laughs> Just the, yeah, it also usually has lots of nuts added to it. So I guess that's like the, the civil shortcut method using the cottage But I don't think this is bad. Yeah, it's a texture. Is, it is a bit nutty. Mm. Actually, I know it's a bit more. It's a bit light. You put bread into milk. And just let it all separate. Let's find out how much it all costs. <coughs> hey, you can see here, like, the big pot of milk there and he lets it like slowly boil and there's like a skin that hardens on the top okay my friend uh kina 70 75 yeah okay this here is the last one okay done you man here you can see more curds and milk and this is like the full column, column, the sweet balls. It's like actually that's all, it's all sitting in honey. I've already, I think we'll go back out that way. Keseo? I just had one there. I just had one there. Next time, I'll come to you. <laughs> Because it was good. Wow. Like, yeah. It's a bit like I'm a big fan of um, Horlicks. If you've seen any of my. No, I have already. Thank you. No, no, I don't need more cheap stuff. <laughs> Might just look over here. Somewhere. Woo, wee, woo. Funny the sunglasses guys, you don't even say anything, they go from like 500 all the way down to um, to 100. So obviously they just probably cost 50, wow, that must mean they cost like something like 50 cents, 50 pence to make. How crazy is that? Like in London, I used to be able to buy, wow, <coughs> again you could bargain them down on Brick Lane from like 10. Dollars, ten pounds, to five pounds. <coughs> yeah, some pretty cool stuff here. Again, I'm not really in the mood for like a big shop, but I've only got a few days left. I've got to get a few presents, a few like little, you know, little things. And I like getting clothes for myself because it's something that's practical. That every time I wear it, it reminds me of where I got it from. I do need a new phone cover as well, which will be cheaper to get here. <coughs> I think that might be it. 
That might be it for this video, guys. Bit of food, bit of dessert, bit of, bit of me, bit of you, bit of India. That's probably enough. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, trying to keep these shorter, just so they're maybe more digestible for you. And yeah, cool, guys. Well, that's it for now. Cheers. Oh, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Until then, keep on. Thank you.